All right, so let's apply the same strategy for, uh, for this function, but things are gonna be a little bit complicated, so bear with me because uh, the derivatives could be a little bit uh, harder because we're gonna use the, um, we're gonna use the product rule, okay? This may take more time. All right, so let's write, um, let's start writing f prime first. Well, let's apply the po uh, product rule. So the derivative of x squared is 2x times e to the minus x plus x squared times the derivative of uh, e to the minus x. That's the chain rule. So the derivative of the exponent uh, times the exponential function. And I'm going to have a minus sign coming out of that. So here we go. x squared e to the minus x. And e to the x, e to the minus x factored out, you have 2x minus x squared. Writing it this way is going to simplify your job in the next step because I'm going to uh, redifferentiate uh, f prime. So you don't want to use like two different uh, uh, product rules here, but instead only one product rule. Okay, so f double prime is equal to the, deriv the, the derivative of the parentheses term, right? 2 minus 2x, okay, 2 minus 2x um, times e to the minus x times the derivative uh, plus uh, the derivative of e to the minus x times the first term. That, that brings a minus sign here and keep the term here, e to the minus x. Okay, I'll do the same thing here, okay. I'm going to uh, factor out e to the minus x, so minus 2x plus x squared, okay? So that takes you to 2 minus 4x plus x squared, uh, 2 minus 4x plus x squared e to the minus x, okay? Let's go to f triple prime. So it's a, it's a good practice of differentiation and product rule for this particular case, okay? So uh, the derivative of the parentheses term, uh, it's minus 4 plus 2x e to the minus x plus uh, the derivative of e to the minus x. Uh, that brings a minus sign here. Keep the first, and you still have the e to the minus x. And factoring out uh, e to the minus x, you have minus 4 plus 2x minus 2 plus 4x minus x squared. Okay, simplifying that yields uh, minus 6 minus plus 6x uh, minus x squared e to the minus x and this is f triple prime. I need a newer slide to write down uh, the fourth derivative because we have to go up to the derivative 4. All right, so let's, let's check. Uh, the derivative of the first is 6 minus 2x. So 6, 6 minus 2x e to the minus x minus, we're going to keep, keep minus 6 plus 6x minus x squared. Um, minus 6 plus 6x minus x squared times e to the minus x. And then uh, pulling out e to the negative x, 6 minus 2x plus 6 minus 6x plus x squared. And simplifying that takes you to... Uh, this nice form here, okay? So now, now we have all the derivatives up to the order four, so we can go ahead and then uh, calculate uh, f of zero. Uh, let me also write uh, f of x here, just copy that down here, f of x, x squared, uh, e to the minus x. And uh, here, uh, c in this formulation is zero. So I'm gonna evaluate, I'm gonna evaluate all of those guys, including f all the way to the, uh, starting from f all the way to the, the fourth derivative for uh, for zero, okay? So I'm gonna use a different color so I can trace those back, okay? So f of zero uh, is going to be zero because zero squared times the e to the zero is just zero, good. Here, f prime of zero well, we have 2x and, and minus x squared, right? So when you plug in 0 for x, that is also 0. That's good news, okay? Uh, let's write f double prime here, right about my head. <laughs> f double prime at 0 
Uh, hi, F double prime zero. <laughs> okay, so what is it? Um, F double prime is right here. Uh, okay, so uh, plugging in zero, uh, two survives, four times zero is zero, zero squared is zero, e to the zero is one, so it's essentially equal to two. Okay, that's good, it's non zero. And F uh, triple prime zero is equal to uh, negative six, and then plus six x and minus x squared goes away, and then e to the zero is one, so this is minus six. Okay, good. And finally, let me just write that down here. F, the fourth derivative of F evaluated at zero is gonna be 12, similar way. You can use your TA84 to do all of those, um, but now I'm gonna write, I'm gonna write P for x, which is f of zero plus f prime of zero x plus f double prime zero over two factorial x squared triple prime zero over three factorial x cubed. And then the fourth derivative evaluated at zero for factorial x to the fourth. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is just to uh, plug in those uh, values I just evaluated, okay? All right, f of zero is zero, that's good, zero. f prime of zero is zero, okay, good. f double prime of zero is equal to uh, two, as you see here, okay? So let's go back and uh, plug that back, two. So two over two factorial x squared, and triple prime at zero is right here, okay, minus six, okay? So plus minus six over three factorial x cubed, and then uh, if the fourth derivative evaluated at zero is 12, 12 over uh, four factorial x to the fourth. Okay, let's simplify this. Well, two factorial is two, two over two factorial is uh, one, so x squared. Same as three factorial, that's six. Uh, minus six divided by six is minus one, minus x cubed, okay? And then four factorial is four times, three times, two times one, that's 24. 12 divided by 24 is one half, x to the fourth, okay? So this way, uh, the Maclaurin uh, polynomial for uh, for the function, what was the function? x squared e to the minus x up to order uh, the, the, the fourth order uh, Maclaurin polynomial uh, of x squared e to the minus x is just x squared minus x cubed plus one half x to the fourth. Okay. This could be a little bit tedious, as I said, because you have to calculate all the derivatives here. Sometimes you use the product rule, quotient rule, all the rules, in fact, that we learned uh, uh, back in Calc 1 um, are all applicable uh, towards uh, calculating uh, Maclaurin or Taylor series of functions, okay? All right, I think that's the end of the video. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Uh, bye.